So the other day I was watching a video on YouTube about current security issues with computers and it talked about somebody who uh, wrote some code to get information from air gap machines, that's machines that aren't connected to any type of network, through blinking LEDs on the computer. And I thought, hey, I can do that. So I wrote a script and let me go ahead and point my camera at the LED on top of my ThinkPad laptop here, which we in the last video talked about how to control the LEDs while well, mine talks in Morse code now. And it's about to say, hello world. Focus the camera here. There we go. And I'll hit enter. That was the H, that was the E. Here comes L, L, O, space and then we have W O R L D Wow that was really slow okay now I could obviously make this faster now I'm not a professional on Morse code um, but I'm gonna go over my script on how I made this I made it just for fun um, I mean it, it would be a slow way to transfer data, but you could do it and you can even transfer binary data as using base 64. And if you're not familiar with what base 64 is, base 64 is code that's used all the time in web browsers and in your email and all your attachments in your email are base 64. Basically base 64 will take any input, you know, a binary, some sort of digital input. It could be an image or video or audio file or a PDF. And it creates a string of text uh, that it can be typable. It's all ASCII characters and it can um, encode basically anything and make it into typable characters and then can be transferred as plain text. Now obviously transferring any type of file this way would be painfully slow but it's still fun to play around with. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at my code here for this, okay? So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to vim my LED message here. Uh, and a long time ago, I talked about a program called Morris Gen, which should be in your repositories, at least it is for my Debian based system. And I can say Morris Gen and I can say hello world and other people. And it should, no, oh no, that's right, it's looking for a file input. Sorry. So what I will do is instead of a file, I can pipe into Morris Gen and give it a dash for standard input. And now it gives me a string of text, dots and dashes for hello world and other people. So that's in Morris code. Let's go back into my script here because I utilize that. So in my script here, uh, we have on my particular ThinkPad, this is the file that is actually the LED that I can turn on and off. Next, we're going to get all the input arguments passed to the script and put them into message. So that's why I can type as much as I want. We check is message. So if you don't give it any information, you leave it blank, it's going to run the read command and it's going to use the read command to, uh, to ask for a message. If again, you don't put anything that's blank, it's just gonna exit with an error of one. Okay, next it's going to take that message that you typed, put it into Morris Gen and generate the Morris code, it's going to put that into a variable called string. Then I will echo to the screen string just to make sure it generated it right. And then we're going to turn off the LED and sleep for one second. Now we're gonna loop through each character of that string. Uh, we're going to print it to the screen and I did that just so I can visualize on the screen a dash and I can look at the dot and see what happens. So here it's checking each character, okay. If the character being passed is a dot, then we're going to set the time delay to 0.2 seconds. If it's a dash, then we're gonna make it twice as long. Now, again, I, I don't know a whole lot about Morse code. Uh, I don't know about the timing on how much uh, space each thing's supposed to take. Uh, I mean, it's dots and dashes, and then I'm assuming a delay that's longer for spaces in between words. So that's what I do here. So we're gonna say, okay, uh, once we set those timers, we're also going to check, okay, is it a space? 
if it's a space, then we're saying it to a full second. So basically, if it's a dot, the light's going to be on for a, uh, a 0.2 seconds. If it's a dash, 0.4. And if it's a space, it's just going to keep the light off for one second. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to check that if it's a space, it's the time to one, the sleep time. Then we're going to echo LED to turn it on, turn it off and then sleep before we loop again to the next character. At the end, we're gonna sleep for one second, and then we're going to make sure the LED is back on. That's the whole script. I have this up on Pastebin. I will share it with you guys. There should be a link in the description of this video. Uh, but I just thought this was a, a neat little concept, and I thought, after I heard that, uh, read or watched that video on that, I'm like, I know how to turn LEDs on and off. I know how to make Morse code in the shell using tools. Let's go ahead and see if I could do it. So it was just, just to see if I could do it. So again, I thank you for watching. Let me exit out of here. And let me run it again. I'm gonna say films by, I guess I should write this all as one word, by chris.com. And I hope that you have a great day. are watching Phineas and Ferb, which I also agree is a very funny cartoon. And you should visit filmsbychris.com. As you can see, it's spelt with a K. There should be a link in the description of the video. I also have a Patreon page. You can find a link to that in the description of the video, too. And I hope that you have a great day. God, that's what I should have had the LED say.